sheet, I'm going to talk about my very first computer in terms of my first encounter with a computer, my first academic use of a computer, my first home use of a computer, my first serious work computer. I'm going to do it in about a minute as well. So my first encounter with a real computer was when I was in short trousers. I'm not sure whether it was a computer or whether it was an early calculator, but it looked really cool. It was with my uncle Arthur, who worked for a company called Mullins in Crawley. He had it at home. It was the early 1970s. I think it was a Hewlett Packard. And it blew me away because there he was at home doing these cool calculations. Now, when it came to actually doing computing myself, the first serious machine I used was at the end of that decade, some kind of punch card driven ICL machine. I was hopelessly getting the holes in the right bits in the punch cards. So all I can remember of that was just having endless dumps, hexadecimal dumps of paper that were supposed to tell you what the error was. I never did figure it out. Then I moved on to an ICL 2980. British machine, terrible machine, didn't never really work properly, uh, but by writing about it with a student newspaper, that launched my career in journalism, so it did me a big favour in a way. Then I moved on to a VAX cluster, which is a good machine, Unix machines, and in the lab we had a little Commodore PC, that was a good little machine as well. But as a journalist, the two machines that mean the most to me, first of all, the very early Amstrad, where you could get a uh, printer and everything, you could print out stories, that really worked well. But then my absolute favourite is this little baby here, a Tandy 200. This was standard Daily Telegraph news reporter issue at the end of the 1980s. Uh, you could write a little story, feature in it, you could squirt it down a phone through a thing called an acoustic coupler, a couple of kind of little like sink plungers you stuck on the end of a, a telephone. Um, it had um, pathetic memory, it had a pathetic screen, it had a pathetic battery life, but unlike the copy takers, it didn't take the mickey out of you uh, for your rubbish copy. Um, it, uh, you could edit copy as well. Uh, you could store things, so it was actually very useful indeed. And I loved it so much that I even bought it. So there you have it. That's my first real useful work computer.